This will be a quick start to Autodesk Fusion 360. It's a solid modeling application, so uh, it's a great way to prepare data for origin. Uh, first up, we're going to check uh, document settings. Or oh, this is a new file. It's called Untitled. Uh, whenever you start Fusion, it kicks off with a new file. Uh, under document settings, we'll go to inches. Um, and then I'm going to turn on the origin. This is nothing to do with Shaper origin. This is uh, 3D space origin. This is this point where all these coincide is 0, 0, 0 in 3D. Um, so I'm going to select this plan. You'll notice up in the top right is the view cube. So this is looking from the top down. So if you were working on a panel of ply on your workbench, uh, this would be where you would cut from. So this is the top of it. So we're going to create a sketch. For most 3D operations in, uh, in Fusion, uh, you start off with a, with a sketch. And uh, you can see that down here. And you can see I'm in sketch mode. So we're going to create a rectangle. Um, and I'm going to click here. You see I'm snapping to that zero point and then start dragging. So I'm going to make it two inches high. You see that I got the Y axis highlighted. Hit two and then hit tab to go to uh, the width and go four inches for the width. So the idea here is we're going to make a little two by four uh, panel that we want to cut out of plywood. So we're going to assume our plywood is a uh, half inch thick. So uh, I'm going to go extrude and choose 0.5. Because I changed the uh, document units to inches, I don't need to put a unit in here. Uh, and you'll notice it's creating a new body. So we go OK. You'll notice uh, when we extruded, we left sketch mode. Our sketch got hidden. It still exists. I can turn it on again. It just got hidden. And uh, we made a new body called body1. So I'm going to call it test2. Um, now it is ready to export. So I'm just going to hide this origin. Uh, so I can select the top face. So I can confirm that I'm looking at it from the top over here. And then I just hit the export to shaper button. So this is, uh, there will be a link down below to the video showing how to install this add-in. So I select my top face. And by default, it exports one body at a time. Um, We'll get into the more advanced features later. So test2.svg, so we know it takes the name of the body and uses that. So we'll go save. Um, so that's all exported now, color coded and everything. So we'll just have a quick look here. So test2 is four inches by two inches and it's a black filled solid. So uh, that's ready to cut on the outside of this line just by dumping it on a uh, thumb drive and putting it in origin, ready to place. Okay, we've taken that file and uh, dropped it on a USB. Now we'll plug that in the side. Uh, we're in design mode, we've scanned in our workspace. I'm just gonna hit plus, browse, browse on the USB, uh, find the file we just made, and now I can position that wherever I like. Uh, this is a cut exterior shape, because it's black. Uh, so we'll see when we go to cut mode, uh, you'll see this toolpath pop up on the outside. So you'll see, uh, yeah, as we hover over it, um, we're going to cut on the outside of that line. So uh, I'll show you with a air cut, with a quarter inch cutter, just how straightforward it is to cut this. So uh, if we were not doing an air cut, this would literally be all it takes to, uh, to cut this quarter of an inch deep. Um, you would do a couple of passes, maybe three if you were being precious, and that would be cut out of a half inch panel of ply. So that's a simple uh, flow for how to get data to origin and cut it.